All right, so we are back live here for this LLJ High School Winter League matchup. And we got the St. Anthony's 2026 team taking on the Excelsior team. So ball with the Friars. Oh, nice give there by Pupke. And St. Anthony's gets the goal for Caitlin Gilmartin. So the Friars strike first in this one. And this one out of bounds, but this one will stay with the Excelsior team. So this, a consolation matchup in the high school bracket. So St. Anthony's, they come in one and three with games against Southside, Rocky Point, West Hampton and Comswag. Comswag, their one win. And for the Excelsior team, they come in at two and two with wins against Huntington and also Miller Place and defeats against Long Beach and Comac. So this possession with the Friars, and that's Misha Fernandez with a free position. Fernandez, and that shot there goes wide. Looks like Excelsior got a stick in there. Friars still keep possession. 35 on the shot clock. That's Meadowzillis up top. Meadowzillis looking there for Pupke. Oh, but this one is taken away. And here comes Lauren Perfetto for the Excelsior team. On oh, Perfetto losing that one. Oh, some great defense here. The Friars looking to keep possession. And they do. So keeping possession is Kelsey Gorman. So that's Misha Fernandez with the rock. Now she's gonna give that one to Cameron Pupke. Pupke being defended by Emma Greenberg. And the contact there will keep this one with Pupke. So Pupke. Shoots it and scores. So Pupke with a rocket there. And now it's a two nothing lead for St. Anthony's. So here comes the Excelsior team. That's Liv Malata. Oh, on the look for Perfetto. That shot wide there on that feed, Ava Rivera. So shot clock inside of 20 seconds for the Excelsior team. Ball with Danielle Perfetto. Uh, and it looks like that's gonna be an illegal pick. So the turnover gives us back to St. Anthony's. Here comes Meadowzillis. On the Friars is that shot. Gonna be saved there by Olivia Monago. So Monago looking for an outlet. Now that's Casey M looking to clear. A good defense there for St. Anthony's by Abby Malgraf. And Malgraf has the takeaway. Here come the Friars. 
That's Anna Kosciuszko. Oh, nice look inside. And the goal for Misha Fernandez. <coughs> so Kosciuszko to Fernandez. Friars now lead 3 0. And taking a ton of contact there, Emma Greenberg. Greenberg, though, gets up and gets that one up ahead to Maddie O'Hagan. And now possession with Danielle Perfetto. On Perfetto, nice gift to O'Hagan. And that one deflected. This one, though, will stay with Excelsior. Rivera there for the backup. And now Alana Fikes gives to O'Hagan. And this is gonna be a free position for Maddie O'Hagan. So a chance to get Excelsior on the board. So O'Hagan ready to go, locked and loaded. Maddie O'Hagan. Oh, and that's gonna be going back the other way. So the GB there to Isabella Bustamante. And now here come the Friars. So Meadowzillis gives to Malgraf. Now that's Misha Fernandez. Oh, Fernandez weaving her way inside, but ball down. And this one going back to Excelsior. So on the ground ball there, Olivia Kalin and flips to Monago. And now it's Monago looking for an outlet. So Monago looking for help. Now gets that to O'Hagan. Now Maddie O'Hagan gets that up to Autumn Maley. Now that's Rivera to Mulata. On the trail check. This one though on the ground. And this will stay with Excelsior. Only 15 on the shot clock though. So late time now for Excelsior. Shot clock now at six seconds. Uh, and ball down. Good, good defensive stance there by the Friars, which results in a shot clock violation. So this one going back to St. Anthony's. So Bustamante now works that one back and now St. Anthony's redirects. On that pass, goes high. And the ground ball going back to Excelsior by Andy Petitella. Now here comes Emma Greenberg flying up the field. Greenberg, excellent job of clearing the ball. Oh, and that shot goes high there by Olana Fikes. Possession now with Liv Mulata. Mulata looking for O'Hagan. O'Hagan keeps possession. Shot clock just under 30 now for Excelsior. On oh, O'Hagan, the give back to Mulata. Oh, and that shot there goes wide. Now, with Mulata, that shot. And that's going to be a save for Sofia Moshida. Now it's the Friars who look to clear as they redirect. And now they send this one up the field to Megan Langton. On Langton's pass, deflected, but stays with the Friars. And that shot there by Noel Meenan goes wide. And Monago 
gets possession back for Excelsior. So Monagro being chased by Pupke. And now able to get that up to Automaley. That shot, it's gonna be a, that's gonna be a save for Moshida. Wow, how about that save? So Moshida. Oh no, it looks like that was a goal. I thought that was a goal, but didn't hear the signal. Okay, so that, that was a goal for the Excelsior team. So that gets them on the board. So a 3-1 game. And now we're going back to the draw circle. So on the draw, it's gonna be Noel Meenan for the Friars up against Danielle Perfetto for Excelsior. And that's gonna be a win for Perfetto. On right away, drawing the shooting space is Olana Fikes. <laughs> Shot. Oh, and that's a stinger there for Fikes. So a one goal game now. Here come the Friars. Now mean in the give, and getting the shooting space is Caitlin Poulos for the Friars. Oh, and a nice check there by Emma Greenberg. And now Monago gets that ahead to Danielle Perfetto. Oh, Perfetto, nice give to Fikes. Oh, one more. But ball down and scooped up by Moshida. And Moshida, she gets that one up ahead to Tipaldo, but taken back by Fikes. And now that's Lauren Perfetto. Oh, and Lauren Perfetto ties the game. So from 3-0 to 3-3, three, three, and that one picked off by Lauren Perfetto. Gets to Greenberg and Excelsior. They're looking for their first lead of the game. Oh, great ball movement. The shot and the goal. So Tessa Matozo on that goal. And now a 4-3 lead for Excelsior. Four unanswered goals. And that one again deflected by Lauren Perfetto. Greenberg fighting for the ground ball and she has it. Greenberg gets to Fikes. Excelsior looks to push. Fikes to Matozo, that shot. And that's gonna be another goal for Matozo. So how about this run by the Excelsior team? to now take a 5-3 lead. And we're going back to the draw circle. So it's gonna be Minan for the Friars up against Danielle Perfetto for Excelsior. And Perfetto wins that to Perfetto. Oh, that pass though behind. And the ground ball goes to Noel Meenan. So St. Anthony's looking to 
stop the bleeding here. So possession with Cameron Pupke. Pupke, that shot, that one outside. And now on the second effort, the Friars get the shooting space for Caitlin Gilmartin. Gilmartin looking to pull it back out, but ball back on the ground. Oh, and what a ground ball there for Autumn Maley. Excelsior going the other way. Nice give. Oh, and that shot there. That one goes wide. So now Maley, oh, looking to flip that one, but ball down. Fike's looking to keep, and she does. Now that's Fikes up top. As she gives to Maddie O'Hagan. How about that shot there by Olana Fikes? And Excelsior now leading 6-3. So that's six unanswered goals as they trailed in this one, three nothing. Friars, again, looking for an answer. Forty seconds left here in the first half. That's Noel Meenan. Meenan gets inside, and that's a goal for Noel Meenan. So shot clock turned off, and Excelsior they can play for the final shot of the first half. Oh, that pass deflected by Langton, and Langton with the takeaway. Uh, and it looks like we're gonna have a yellow here on Excelsior. So this looks like it'll take us to halftime. So the Friars, they're gonna start the second half up a girl. So a 6-4 game right now. We'll take a quick break and come back shortly.
All right, so back live here for the second half between the Friars and Excelsior. Oh, and that shot by Langton goes high. Friars, they're starting the second half. Up a girl here after that yellow on Excelsior right before halftime. So as they trail six to four, they're looking to rally here. But it looks like this one is going back the other way as Monago looking for an outlet for Excelsior. And the card has expired. So on the ride there is Cameron Pupke for the Friars. Oh, and how about the ride by St. Anthony's? And Fernandez with the scoop and score. <laughs> Heck of a ride there by St. Anthony's and Misha Fernandez makes this a one goal game. So now Excelsior back with it. And that's Peyton Nowak. Nowak gives to Perfetto. Now that's Daniel Perfetto up top. Works that down to Liv Mulata. Oh, Liv Mulata, nice look for, for, to Perfetto for the goal. So Mulata to Daniel Perfetto. 7-5 game. And we head back to the draw circle once again. So once again for St. Anthony's, it's gonna be Noel Meenan on the draw and she'll be going up against the freshman Danielle Perfetto. And another win on the draw for Excelsior. As Langton and Perfetto take a tumble So lined up now for a free position is Lauren Perfetto, the Loyola commit. That shot, that's gonna be a save for Sofia Moshida. Oh, but picked off by Daniel Perfetto. Oh, but ball down. This one will stay with Excelsior. Now Danielle Perfetto being defended by Meg Langton. Oh, Perfetto, that shot. That one's off the pipe. This one will stay with Excelsior. Now Danielle Perfetto, that shot. And that one goes wide. Perfetto taking some contact there, but no call. And here come the Friars. So racing up the field, Kelsey Gorman. Oh, Gorman, the give to Pupke. Pupke, that shot. And the Friars get the goal. So a 7-6 game on that goal there by Cameron Pupke. So now Excelsior, they look to answer. Oh, and this ball down. 
Great defense by the Friars. And Moshida now getting that one out as Gorman gets that one up to Pasqualone. And now it's Cameron Pupke racing up the field. Oh, this ball gets away though. The Friars looking to keep possession, and they do. So the ground ball there by Bella Capo. Now that's Malgraf. She works that to Meenan. Meenan, that shot. And that's gonna be saved by Monago to keep Excelsior up one. Now Greenberg gets to Petitella on Petitella. Nice look ahead for Nowak. Oh, Nowak looking for Fikes there. But ball down and the GB goes to Capo. And Capo, nice job getting that one up ahead. And now Poulos gets that to Malgraf. Pupke now, she looks for the shot. That one wide there, the chase is won by Malgraf. So this one stays with the Friars with 30 seconds to shoot. On oh, Meenan being swarmed, oh, but that's gonna be a charge. So as this one goes back the other way, again, a great job clearing for Excelsior by Emma Greenberg. Greenberg, the sophomore out of Northport. And now getting the shooting space is Peyton Nowak. So Nowak, a chance to put Excelsior back up two. That shot though is gonna be saved by Sophia Moshida. And now Moshida Nice job getting that one up ahead to Anna Kosciuszko. Kosciuszko now gonna pull back out and give to Fernandez. Friars looking to tie this game. They once had a three goal lead, then trailed by three, and now back within one. Kosciuszko, oh, and that shot. Gonna be saved there by Monago. Ground ball to Petitella. Oh, and O'Hagan, look inside there. But this one, going back to the Friars. So now it's St. Anthony's again, looking to tie. Noel Mina now, seeing the double. On oh, a ton of contact there. So Mina drawing that foul. So we got 10 minutes remaining in the game. So possession stays with Noel Meenan. Now she's gonna dish that out to Cameron Pupke. Friars now looking to play through Pupke. On Pupke, she's being swarmed. Ball down, no call. Ground ball goes to Petitella. On Pupke, she's down. Let's hope she's okay. On the other end though, that's a goal for Maddie O'Hagan. So Pupke, she's gonna come off the field as this game has not been stopped. And Greenberg with the rock for Excelsior. Now Greenberg, she takes a ton of contact.
And now we're going to have a yellow on the Friars. So Excelsior, they're going to be up a girl here for the next two minutes. Now that's Greenberg. Oh, and that shot in and out. So this stays a two goal game. Moshita, we're gonna send this up for Langton. Now Megan Langton, nice job clearing for the Friars. shot and that's going to be a goal for Noelle Meenan so for Meenan her second of the game score now 8-7 still a ton of time as this one is anyone's ball game So Perfetto now operating behind the cage. Perfetto now looks to attack that shot. Oh, what a take there by Danielle Perfetto. And that's her second of the game. Lead now back up to two for Excelsior. So now on the draw circle, where it's gonna be Lauren Perfetto up against Meadow Zillis. And that one is won by Zillis. And now drawing the shooting space for the Friars is Misha Fernandez. Fernandez, she already has two goals in this one. A chance for number three. And she's got number three. So Misha Fernandez once again makes this a one goal game. And now Monago getting that one up ahead to Maley. So the Friars a couple times now gotten into one but Excelsior they've managed to have the answer Perfetto takes a look at the clock now attacks oh and what a save by Sofia Moshida that's a big time save there to keep this a one goal game inside of five minutes and Moshida able to send that one up ahead to Bridget Monahan, and Monahan gets to Meenan Friars looking for the tie. Meaning they're gonna settle this one down. Oh, ball down. Oh, and this one going right back to Excelsior. So, so Perfetto with that ground ball. Costly turnover there by the Friars. So Excelsior looking for an insurance goal here. That could go a long way in this one. Alana Fikes with the rock. Oh, Fikes looking to zip that one inside there for Lauren Robinson, but Moshida has it. And now it's St. Anthony's looking to go the other way. Moshida looking for help. Now sending that one, and that one makes its way to Noel Meenan. Oh, 
And now here comes Kosciuszko, the give, shot by Fernandez. And this one is gonna stay with the Friars. 3.30 to go. Meenan, the shot. Oh, big time stop there, but it stays with the Friars. And now it's going back the other way. Maley now gets to Perfetto. Oh, and that pass gets away. But able to keep possession there is Olana Fikes. So again, Excelsior looking for an insurance goal. Shot clock now at 20 seconds. Maley gives to Perfetto. And now that's Olivia Kalin over to Andy Petitella. Now back to Fikes with 10 on the shot clock. Oh, and that one deflected. Nice deflection there by Gil Martin. And now here comes Meadow Zillis for the Friars. Zillis gets that to Langton. Now we're hitting the two minute mark in this one. A 9-8 lead for Excelsior. That's Abby Malgraf. Oh, Malgraf looking to give there. Friars now gonna work it back up top. Langton, and she gives to Kosciuszko. Good defense by Excelsior. Now it's Noel Meenan with 10 on the shot clock. Meenan. Oh, and she's going to get the whistle with seven on the shot clock. So Noel Meenan with a chance to tie this game. Meenan already with two on the day. Meenan. Oh, loses the ball. And it's going back the other way. So possession with Casey M. Now one minute remaining. Friars gonna have to start looking to double the ball here. There's about a 13 second difference. Game clock and shot clock. Ball with Liv Malata being defended by Bella Capo. Malata shot. Oh, and that's a huge insurance goal for Liv Malata. So a 10-8 game. Moshita sending this one up ahead quickly. Gets that to Blake Pasqualone. Now it's Kosciuszko. Kosciuszko shot. Oh, great. Saved by Monago. And now with 20 seconds to go, Monago, she can just hold this one and kill the clock. So that's Emma Greenberg with five in the game. Five seconds, that is. And that's going to do it. So a 10-8 win for Excelsior. What a game. We'll take a quick break and come back shortly with the start of the next matchup. First game today is not until 4.30, I just found out. First 